Outdoor Travel Channel with Robin Sherry. Hi guys, this is Rob, and welcome to Cooking with Rob. And uh, this is what happens to people when they retire, especially the husband retires first. Something goes nuts here and we start cooking. So anyway, instead of a Traeger day, we're doing a Cooking with Rob, and I wanted to use these up. They're hot leaks. They're, uh, they're really good. They're good in beans, things like that. But today, I'm making something I've never made before, and I saw uh, a version of it in the internet, and I'm going to modify it a little bit. I'm making a cabbage soup. Yeah, cabbage soup. So I will uh, <laughs> go through the uh, process with you. I'll leave the uh, recipe down in the description. And I hope you enjoy it and uh, look good to me. And I think these uh, these will taste really good inside it. So we'll see what happens. Here we go. So I'll warn you now, we're going to be going through a lot of bowls. And the first thing I'm going to start with is my red potatoes. I washed them good and now I'm just trimming them and kind of cleaning them up before I start uh, chopping them up. So I'll cut these in half and then I'll probably cut them in quarters too and get kind of thin slices so they cook evenly and quick. This process here is just cutting them up real small, throwing them all in a bowl because I'm going to use them later when we start making the soup. Voila, a bowl of potatoes. This recipe calls out for leeks. It's the first time I've ever used them, so uh, uh, I was also told don't use the upper halves of them, so I just used the first inch and a half of each one. So I just cut them in half and then uh, just diced them up so they'll be nice and small to add to the soup. Now they're all cut up, they're in my little bowl there, and that will go off to the side with the potatoes. Now it's time to cut up the hot links. These hot links, by the way, are very versatile. They're really good in beans. They're good in all kinds of different things, uh, even macaroni and cheese. So anyway, uh, yeah, just buy yourself a set of those and you can cook all kinds of meals with them. There we go, another bowl to add to the soup. I'm getting quite a collection of uh, goodies here, so uh, yeah, stay organized. Now it's time to cut up this cabbage. I'm going to cut this in half and then quarters and then take the core out of it and then chop it up as small as I can into another bowl. And yep, got another bowl of stuff. Next, we're gonna need some olive oil to cook the hot dogs with. So we're gonna brown these a little bit and then take them out and put them off to the side in another bowl. So while the hot links are browning, we're going to uh, set aside some salt, some garlic, chicken broth, Italian seasoning, bay leaves, and cracked pepper. We also going to need some carrots on standby, and I had some pre-cut celery. So yeah, here we go. So the hot links are looking like they're about ready to uh, be pulled out. I'm going to get a bowl and put them in there. So before I cook the vegetables, I'm going to add a little bit more olive oil. First, I'm going to add my leeks or onions if you want to put them that way. And I'm adding about a half a bag of my uh, carrots here. Here I'm adding about half a package of the already cut up celery I bought. Here I'm going to add my uh, garlic. This is already uh, minced up garlic, but they say about three cloves worth. Now 
Now I'm going to add about 48 ounces of chicken broth to this. I do have the heat on high and I'm stirring everything together and I will be getting ready soon to add other ingredients. Now I'm going to add some of my Italian seasoning, uh, about a tablespoon, but I ended up adding a, oh, about another half a tablespoon later. I like to be conservative in case it's, uh, I don't want things to get too spicy or too salty, so I can always add more later. So can you. Adding a little bit of black pepper now in there to, uh, to taste, uh, I'll probably end up adding a little more later. So I'm just stirring things up here, getting things heated up real good. I want to get this to actually a light boil because uh, I got more things to add. Here I'm adding a teaspoon of salt and uh, later on after sip was done, I added more. But I always go light first because you can always put more in later. Now that everything's boiling, it's time to add the potatoes. And uh, I got these in a little bit earlier than everything else because potatoes take a little time to cook. So I've been letting this cook for about five to 10 minutes and now I'm gonna add two little bay leaves to it. So I'm stirring it up here a little bit, kind of checking it out, making sure the potatoes are getting cooked before I add the rest of the ingredients. Okay, we have a good boil going on here and my potatoes, I did a little test and they were all oh, three quarters of the way cooked. So now it's time to add the uh, cabbage. So this is my cabbage and uh, when you add it in there, it looks like you're going to really fill that thing up. But remember, all this is going to shrink down. So uh, yeah, just get it in there slow and easy and try not to make a mess like me and uh, uh, it will cook down. So now I'm just cooking it down and I, I keep kind of bringing the bottom up to the top and just keep doing that for a while and you'll see it starting to reduce in size. So after about five to ten minutes I was getting pretty happy with it and the potatoes seemed cooked so it was getting time to start adding the hot dogs. So my final ingredients, the hot links, are being added to the soup and then I'm going to blend them the best I can. And then you want to season the taste. So if you need more uh, salt or more Italian seasoning, you'll do that at the end. Uh, do it to your taste. It's also time to turn this down to simmer. So the soup's looking good and I put a lid on it for a while and now it's time to taste it. Man, does this look good. And so uh, I got me a couple of scoops, went over to eat a few bites. And this is also the chance to find out if you need to add a little more salt or a little bit more Italian seasoning, which I did a little bit of both, but it was good just the way it was. Uh, but I like a little bit more salt, but man, was that good. Well, I hope you enjoyed making cabbage, potato, and hot link soup with me. It was great. So, hey, please take the time to like and subscribe and share our videos all over the whole wide world. We'd really appreciate it. Till next time, see ya.